guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing this. What is it? Stay tuned. Okay, what is it? 3D print filament glow in the dark. That's what it is. Let's turn the lights on. Oh, okay. Now we can see. Okay, so I heard about this uh, type of DIY hack that you can do as opposed to tritium. Someone said that you can use this instead of tritium vials to stuff in that space. So I decided to try, this thing is only like, what did I pay, like six bucks shipped or something like that. Quite cheap for this whole spool meant to be used for a 3D printer. And then basically you're supposed to cut it down and then stuff it into the slots as a cheap alternative that just glows in the dark as opposed to buying expensive tritium, which run, are they like $10 a piece now? I am not really sure, they're quite expensive. So what do I think about it after using it, uh, pros and cons? Cons. So uh, let's start with the cons. Cons is that the diameter is actually slightly thicker. So it doesn't, where's the end piece of this thing? Okay, I'll just pull out like this. So it's slightly thicker. It's almost like a very thick nylon guitar string or a uh, tennis racket, old style string, but it's actually thicker than the tritium. So I think you have to, you're either gonna have to shove it in or you have to like shave a cut and shave a bit off to get it in there. So it's it's not like an easy DIY. It is something, but it's not easy. First con. Uh, so the tip I would give on that is that uh, I did try to shave it down with a knife. You just get a knife and like reduce the diameter. Uh, I didn't find that too great. So the best way to do is I had a food torch just hanging up, pull the string in front of it, just not directly on the torch. It could be near it, and as it heats up, it will start getting softer. So then you can actually pull it across. Of course, it's not a completely even, but the, you'll find the middle part very uniform so you can chop it off just get the pliers and chop off the and just use the good part in the middle and you have so much of this that you really can just waste a lot if you wanted to I mean this probably could make thousands of tritium pieces glow in the dark um, alternatives so that's the first con it's the dimer is not perfect so it's not plug and play you can't just drop it in uh, second thing is that it's not that bright how can I compare it let's see let's just charge it up here's a UV light not a fake UV light it's more more like a blue light. You call it UV, but this this can't cure UV resin. More of a purplish. So what do I compare to? I'll compare to the actual tritium piece. And then at this point, of course, when it's lit, it's a uh, brighter. Actually, you know what? I'm not showing this. I'm gonna show you the actual piece. Let me light this up. Okay, so this is an example. These pieces see, see on this barrel thing. That's the filament. That's the 3D print glow in the dark filament here. So I'm gonna charge it up. It's on this knife, and then we can compare it. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the ISO on this. Let's get that up so then we actually can see something. At that point, I don't think it's even going to focus. Is it gonna focus? F, F for fail, but um, you get the point. At the full charge, you're gonna get the very as bright as possible, but I would say in a couple minutes, it's matching the tritium. And then I would say after that, it's less than the tritium. So the use case for this, no, the actual use of this would be in movie theater, it has to be complete darkness. Whatever it is, is complete darkness. In low light, I think this thing after a while it's just not gonna glow bright enough to be seen so I would recommend I would say that uh, movie theater darkness you got to have something quite dark for this to be useful or in your mind you're thinking I'm just trying to fill in a slot it would be normally be empty Bruh. so that, that's uh, something you can think so yeah not that great it's it's not even I would say it's similar I think it's because it's so thin if I compared it to the full uh, filament thing you get the shutter back right so it can have proper exposure okay so this whole thing as a huge group will glow obviously bright brighter and longer because it's just more of it. But when you're in, uh, when it's very thin like this, it's just less. Okay, so first con is that you have to adjust it to fit, stretch it out. Second con is that it's not that bright. Okay, so what's a pro? Pro is that it gives you an option. It, it gives you an option besides just buying trit instead of leaving the slots empty. So um, you can have something to put in there. I, I would recommend glow in the dark powder instead with UV resin. UV resin tends to not yellow and uh, 
you can put as much powder as you want. So this is the most ideal for slots. So this will be brighter. You can put, cause you can adjust how much powder you're gonna put inside of it and then mix it with the UV and then just secure it super fast. But you can't do that with a barrel one like this. So that's a pro that you can actually very easily make the shape and slide it into here. So you can't do that with anything with the glue, right? So it gives you something, it's, it's some, some kind of use. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Anyway, comment below. Do you think this is a cool idea? Do you think you would use this idea? 3D print filament, or would you would you use this? Have you used this? Or do you just not gonna bother? You're willing to spend the extra money just to pay for each tritium tri tritium vial, which will last you up to 20 years, normally around 10 years. What do you think about this knife? <laughs> Utility knife. Ah. Fuck this. Yeah.